So today we're gonna be taking the next step. We're gonna be getting ourselves a Reaper. So first of all, we gotta get pregnant by a Reaper Queen, which is realistically not even that difficult. I've gotten really used to this whole method and it's it's really not difficult at all, but we're gonna get to that. Right now we're just doing a little fly through to the area that you'll wanna be at. So obviously I just jumped from the rail track thing and now we're just kind of flying through these spine pieces and we're heading pretty much directly ahead of us there you can see there's like purple through the rocks way ahead of us we're basically heading over there that's called the crystalline lake and that's pretty much where you want to be going uh there is a reaper area right beside that but then there's also the area that you can do the whole walk through to uh the rock drake area that we I, that i think we did that yeah we showed that whole walk through in one of the previous videos so basically we're just gonna head down here um and I will show you exactly where you need to be going. So this is the Crystalline Lake. It is quite beautiful. Honestly, I really love this spot. It's very dangerous though. Do not fall into the water. There's eels, there's jellyfish, there's carcanos. There's everything bad in there right now. Uh, but basically we're just gonna be heading over here. So I'm just gonna fly over to this side a little bit and show you guys it's super dark, man. What the hell? Uh, we're getting attacked. All right. so. There's the spine for the walkthrough, and right over here, you can see the waterfall. That's basically the whole uh, Reaper area. Now, one thing to note is the Reaper area is in an irradiated zone. So basically, I don't like to actually build my Reaper trap inside of there, mainly because of that. Uh, let's just take out any of these creatures that are attacking us. Got a stupid Seeker on us and a Rock Drake. Oh, you know what? I can show off my new shotgun. So I did some more crafting skill and we have the shotgun. It does that much damage, which is quite amazing. Let's quickly just, oh, hello. Got a little feather light here. It's only level 40. <laughs> so um, yeah, this is the area um, that we want to be at. So you'll see my radiation symbol will disappear over here because this spot over here is perfect. Um, this is not in an, an unradiated zone or whatever and it's also quite safe because not too many creatures wander over to here obviously you'll have to take out some creatures down there but once you've done that this area is perfect and this is where i like to build my traps so let's begin um guys make sure you hit the like button though if you find yourself enjoying this one we are like 75 episodes in i think 75 right i'm pretty sure it is so we're getting really really close but um yeah <laughs> i figured we'd do the reaper really quick uh, because obviously that's something that I want to be bringing to extinction with me. So my trap, uh, there's like dozens of different trap designs on YouTube. I mean, you can probably look at tons of different people doing this. I found through like a little bit of research after making my one that most traps involve like crazy amounts of pillars or walls or something like that. And it's super complex and not many of them are very easily reusable. I can tell you right now that this one here that I've been using for like a little while is actually perfect. So this is what you're going to need. Uh, 12 foundations. You're going to need uh, three dinosaur gateways uh, and then one behemoth gate and then one behemoth gateway. So really, really simple. And what you want to be doing is it might actually be easier if you bring a couple extra foundations just to place the stuff. But I want to just get... Uh, there we go. Basically, you want to get your uh, gateway on the edge like that. And this is the whole blueprint. So we're going to go across by a couple here. And then this is going to be where the front gate's going to go. It's easier if you have more foundations just to place them because they seem to place properly. If you can have foundations on both sides of it. Let's just find the snap point. <laughs> there we go. What? <laughs> oh my god. Ark, please. Why are you like this? By the way, none of this stuff here is S plus besides the actual foundations. I just... I had some S plus ones laying around, so I figured I'd just use them, but you can use regular ones too. Uh, oh my God, come on. Give me the snap point. <laughs> come on, give me the snap point. Oh, we had it. There we go. Okay, perfect. Sweet. So that's the front gate. We have the side gate. We got to get the other one as well. Uh, so we're going to go across by these. Bam, bam. And the point of actually having the foundations there is to stop the Reaper from burrowing. Because if we want to, we can reuse this trap. And, oh, it's really good if you can reuse them. Trust me. I mean, getting multiple Reapers, you just have to find one good Reaper Queen. And then you can just get as many Reapers as you want from it. And uh, it's perfect if you're on official as well. Even though, obviously, the Reaper, uh, the whole, like, Reaper thing takes a day or whatever. You can get your whole tribe to just come here and get impregnated. And if you're the person who wants all the Reapers, you can just imprint on them instead of those people. So... 
yeah, definitely uh, useful. So you basically get your 12 uh, foundations down like that, your gates placed like that. And then you just want to place your behemoth gate on the back like here. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, obviously. So there we go. Sweet. So that's our whole trap. Um, and then the way to do this is we're going to stand over here, but we'll get to that later. So we obviously want to be leaving this gate open. It's probably best if you have it open to the front as well. So uh, we're just going to walk the Reaper up. It's going to get trapped in here. It can't get out. And we just got to close the gate behind it and then it's perfect. And it's completely reusable as well. Honestly, I've had some really good feedback on the video that I actually showed this off in and uh, super easy to make. I mean, that's not too complicated at all. Obviously, I just had struggles because I'm me. Um, but anyway, yeah, let's get to it. Let's head on over to the Reaper area. I just want to take a quick look, but I'm going to continuously just stay here probably for like the rest of the day until we find something good. I want to get a high level reaper obviously uh so we need to find a high level queen let's just quickly take out these stupid seekers this area here is actually quite good as well because there's a uh there's a plant species x plant or is it x no it's z plant species z plant and you can heal your rock shake off of that so it's it's really good let's see we might have to fight a couple things i'll just kill this rock drake at least let's use the new shotgun though so yeah a crafting skill got this on my second uh attempt uh we obviously had like a really good one before but this one has like an extra 30 damage or something like that so it's amazing come on you stupid seeker okay there we go oh i'm gonna be so glad to leave aberration and just leave behind all these seekers because i hate them so much although i've recently learned uh through watching the live stream with all the oh, did i just get hit you little I, I don't think he actually hit me but you tried to Oh, I think he hit my Drake. That's okay, though. He didn't hit my suit, right? Okay, no, we're good. It's going to continuously bleed away through uh, the radiation, but that's okay. I'm going to turn back on my light. So, yeah, and the live streams and stuff that they did recently for Genesis, um, they reveal that Seekers and Reapers are going to be back on the Lunar Biome. So that's going to be kind of crazy. Did I get any? I didn't get any uh, Venom could just feed that to my rock drake to heal him uh let's see let's just continuously go down here let's just try and find uh something <laughs> we got uh i thought that was a reaper burrowing but it's not there's so many things in this area man it's so dangerous um oh we got a reaper oh no go away you stupid explorer note what level is this reaper though oh there's two reapers oh no i gotta move I'm just gonna like try and walk up the hill a little bit and then we can turn back and have a look level 15 and i don't know <laughs> oh my god there's so many things dude look at this this is crazy <laughs> at least the reaper queens actually hurt all these other creatures so they can help me kill them hey okay, what level are these guys level 40 i think it says it's so hard to read yeah, look at all those things attacking the reaper queens i think that's a level 40 and a level 15 so those guys are not good i think the max you can get is yeah it's level 150 right i'm pretty sure just gotta try and maybe kill some of these things if we can i'm completely stuck though okay so we can lead all these guys off a cliff to get rid of them there they go. Hi. Oh my god. That is crazy. So we're just gonna maybe do like a bit of a jump over here. Oh, we can't do it apparently. There we go. Let's just try and clear out some of these creatures because these seekers are super annoying. Come on, just come to me and let me fight you. Okay, now there's Nameless. <laughs> we can't catch a break, can we? It's seekers and Nameless and seekers then Nameless an endless cycle of pain all right come on come on all right i think we're good so yeah we're just gonna get this guy healing for a little bit obviously i'm gonna just pump these in here you can see we get like almost 100 health onto them it's kind of amazing um so if you ever get some of those obviously feed those to your dude but i'm just gonna sit here by this plant and force feed some food as well and try to get this guy up to full health 
Okay, so we're good now. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to just continuously search for Reapers, like I said. But you can walk along this pathway. It kind of goes all the way over here. Uh, we got... I think there's... Is there a queen right here? I thought we might have saw one there for a second. Oh, yeah, there is one. Let's see, what level is it? Level 5. Oh my god, amazing. Uh, okay. Let's, um, let's maybe lead it off this cliff here. Okay. So we're just gonna fly over here and latch and he's probably gonna follow me. Or she, should I say. Let's go over here. Alrighty, so that one's a bad one. If you can kind of move them out of the spawn area, you should be good. You can probably fight a few. To be honest, I probably should have fought that one. But it is what it is. I'm just gonna keep searching. Okay, uh, <laughs> I had to quickly turn something off there. Oh my god. All right, we got a 150 over here, dude. What the hell? All right, hang on. Uh, let's see. Okay, where are we right now? I think if I walk it back up around that path there, I think that we should be able to get it up to my trap. Did it follow? Oh, yes, it's following. Perfect. All right, uh, which way is it? Crap. I'm like all over the place. Um, I'm pretty sure it's this way. Like 90% sure it's this way. Oh, it might not be this way. Oh, yeah, it's not this way. Okay, uh, let's back around. Uh, oh, you know what? It's this way here. Crap. Okay, that was dumb. Come on. Yeah, let's kill these seekers together. Yeah, I hate them too. <laughs> oh my god. All right, we're getting close though. I gotta just turn fully around. Unfortunately, my turning radius is absolute dog crap. All right, come on. Can you just turn, please? Thank you. Okay, we're good. We're actually very overburdened. I've just spotted that there's a Perlavia in the ground over there. All right, we're good. Come on. Go away, Seeker. Come on. All right, we're going to get close to our trap here now. Just got to get this thing around the corner. There we go. The trap is opening for some reason. I guess it's like loading in. That's how they load in, right? All right. So we're pretty much just going to like walk through like that. And the Reaper is burrowed into my trap for some reason. Are you going to come out? I don't think it can. It can't come out if the foundations are there. There we go. Let's just kill the Spino if we can. Ugh, stupid Spino's running now. <laughs> the Spino's in the trap. Oh, dude, come on. There we go. All right, so if it burrows before the trap, obviously that's not going to work, but you can just walk it in like this. I'm just going to eat that body. Going to leave a little bit of space here. And sweet, it's in. Now I'm just going to kill the Seeker and then we'll be good. Okay. So shield on. I want to be able to close that gate. It is actually aggroed onto my rock drake right now, which is great. That's good. And the gate's closed behind it. Perfect. Alrighty. So let's begin. Um, by the way, actually, I had to go back up to the base earlier for magnifying glass because I'm a big dum dum. We can check its health. Basically, you got to get it down to like super low health and then you can start uh, the process of trying to get the baby. So I'm just going to have to hit this for like 10 hours and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So you know what? Actually, it's a lot quicker if I just use my shotgun. Like, look at this. I've only been doing this for like two minutes. Bam. Oh, it's not in light anymore. Hang on. Let's get closer. There we go. My rock drake's not very good, so not a great idea to do it with him. Let's just turn around a little bit. 
Oh yeah, don't hit it anymore. <laughs> and hit it with him though. Come on. All right, let's check it. We can do, we can actually do three more. Okay, none of these things are hitting though. That's a weird glitch. He's able to hit me though. I keep saying he, I obviously know it's a female. All right, so when you see that red glow on it, you want to turn off your light and just approach it. Obviously hold up a shield when it's hitting and it's going to sniff you. And when it does that, don't hold up your shield. Ow. Okay, come on. Okay, here we go. It should work. Oh, it missed. Sometimes the alignment needs to be fixed a little bit. So you might have to go uphill. Okay, our shield's broken. Ooh, don't get hit. Ooh, it hit me a little. Let's use the other shield. I only brought two, so hopefully this can work. Okay, here we go. There we go. Sweet. So this should give us the baby. Okay, it worked. Amazing. Okay, now we got to just move away. Turn back on our light if we can. And I got to take some of these. I really should have put those under my hot bar. It's got to get healing. All right, so we have 15 minutes on our stats on the server here. So that's going to stay there, by the way. I can come back for that. I've definitely like went all the way back up to a base and then come back down and still found it there. So, oh, amazing. We have the baby. Now at this point, we just got to start leveling so we can get what? 75 levels into it. And that's done through basically just killing things. So I can kill things on the rock Drake, or I can just murder a couple spinos with my character. So I'll probably go ahead and just do that. Uh, let's just go around a little bit. I could also probably just kill, um, like a baby megalosaur from an egg that could also work but i'll probably just kill some spinos let's see all right so we just want to fully get out of this area if we can i don't want it to go that way okay let's go this way come on i'm also super heavy so i probably should have fixed that before we started to do this let's see um i'll just drop uh I'll just drop everything that's like not meat, I guess, because we're going to need a good amount of meat for this baby. And I'll drop a, a decent amount of meat as well. There we go. Okay, we should be good. So I think on official, it takes 24 hours. Obviously, for video's sake and everything, I can't really have it take that long. So it's all down to your hatch speed, though. And I do believe on this server, that's on 50 times. Um, if you're on Aberration, you don't want that hatch speed to be too fast. I know 50 times is also super fast, but if you put it any higher, like you're going to have no time on this because... That rate right there is completely based off of hatch speed. And also the XP scales with your hatch speed as well. So also worth noting if you're ever trying to get yourself a Reaper. So best place to get some Spinos is back in the Fertile Forest. Also, it's safer and also my base is there. So yeah, we're going to head up to there. Let's see. Can we get there. Sweet. It's pretty useful if you can maybe save a couple, um, what are they called? Explore notes. And you can grab one just before you start murdering some spinos or whatever. But look at this. Bam. 14 levels so far. Spinos are fantastic for XP. Honestly, I don't know why Rexes don't give as much. But yeah, look at that. Already, we have tons. <laughs> spinos are honestly fantastic for gaining XP. And if you guys watch the channel a lot, you'll definitely know that. Because I keep going on about it. It's so good. All right, let's see. We got a spino right here. Sweet. Um, another thing to note, just, I know most people already know some of this stuff, but it's probably worth noting for people who maybe are trying to attempt this for themselves the first time. Um, definitely worth, uh, like noting that you cannot take radiation damage when you have the baby. If you do, you will lose it. It is also a great way of getting rid of the baby if maybe, you know, it doesn't work out. <laughs> If you want to get rid of the baby, you can just take radiation damage. Sweet. So we have the right amount of XP right now. We have the 75 levels into the baby. So essentially, it's just going to come out with 150 plus 75. So it's going to be a 225 when it comes out. Um, and then obviously, you can get all the levels on top of that. So yeah, we've got 10 minutes until that's going to happen. And uh, I can pretty much just get back to my base and prepare for the baby to pop out. So guys, I'll see you in a little bit. So guys, it's 10 minutes later and my body has morphed into this 
disgusting. I don't even understand. Why is my back protruding like that? It's very strange. Anyway, here we go. The Reaper process. Oh, I love this so much. Boom. Alrighty. So, let me tell you right now. If you have the Reaper pheromone glands, you can use those and uh, essentially just stop the baby from attacking you. But if you fill your inventory full of meat, you can get it to kill you and it will harvest your inventory. So I'm going to go ahead and just quickly drop this box and I'm going to get this thing to kill me. So, oh. No, 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 no. What? It got over the wall. I thought I was being intelligent. Uh. Uh. Huh. I need to heal and I need to go get that baby reaper. I, it got over the wall. I forgot they could do that. I thought two high walls was enough. No. Oh, I am so dumb. I haven't done this in a while. I'm sorry. Oh my God. I'm so dumb and I'm so slow right now. I gotta go get that baby reaper. I don't even know where it is. <laughs> I could put my goat on aggressive and it will go for it, which could be good. But yeah, that sucks. Um, I am dumb. Found it. Got it. You're coming with me if I can somehow get you. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. I thought that it was a smart idea to do it that way, but apparently it wasn't. Um, I don't think they have an oxygen stat, so I don't think we're really in a crisis here. I could probably cryopod it, though. Yeah, let me go get a cryopod and I can go get it. Oh, man, that was so dumb. Okay, so that was dumb, but here we go. Bam. And if you're running S+, plus, I'd recommend that you use a hitching post to stop it from moving. So you can just hitch it immediately like that. I'm sorry, I tried to do it a smart way. It turned out to be just awful, so let's go ahead and feed it. We gotta make sure that this thing has a ton of food. I might see if it'll actually try and kill me. So I'm just gonna drop the crowd pot over there. And everything else on me, it can eat besides this meat here. So come here, come on, eat me. I know you want me. So I'm not actually sure what colors we got. It kind of looks like not great colors on the baby, though I can't remember if the baby's colors actually represent what you get when it's a fully grown Reaper. Um, oh, by the way, actually, check out this. Ah, it's super glitchy. I can't even, what is happening? Um, what is happening right here? Oh, is it this glitch where I have to kill myself to fix it? Oh yeah, of course it is. All right, give me a minute. All right, so I don't know if it's going to eat me. I don't think it will, but I'll just continuously feed its inventory here. Um, it's got some decent stats, to be honest. I mean, that's pretty good, and the melee is pretty good, too. Uh, not fantastic, but still pretty good. I mean, I can't really complain. It's a good-looking Reaper. Um, so, yeah, obviously, yeah, it's going to take, like, a little bit for this thing to grow up, but we can do the first imprint here in a little bit, and after it gets past 10%, it actually changes into a different form so this is kind of like the larva form i guess and then it just changes into like a mini version of a reaper and it's really cute i love this form though one thing i really gotta i gotta say to wildcard you, you guys screwed up if you use a dermis on this right now it gives you a tiny reaper it doesn't give you this form it gives you a tiny version of a reaper and it's really dumb i wish they would fix that because honestly i'd love a dermis of this this looks amazing, but yeah, it's just one of those creatures that just got screwed over, I guess. Um, so yeah, we're going to have to wait a little bit. I'll probably bring you guys back for a couple of the imprints as we go along, but uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. So our Reaper is past the 10% now, and it will actually listen to your whistles at this point. Uh, we did get some pretty mucky looking colors, but that's okay. There's our first imprint on it. I love the little... Uh, <laughs> The little uh, animation that you get for that that's awesome let's quickly just pick that up oh did i uh i didn't pick it back up damn it i was supposed to pick up at the uh the pheromone glands outside i don't think i did did i nope that's okay um but yeah that's the baby reaper we're just going to continuously feed it obviously and eventually it's going to be fully grown so it's a little while later and we have our reaper oh my god let's see 400 damage is pretty good to begin with oh my god yeah Nice. Hell yeah. All right. So this thing is pretty beast. Not going to lie. The thing right there is uh, mate boosted. So we're going to do a little bit less damage. But there we go. Killed its mate. I love the tail attack. Oh, I love Reapers so much. They're honestly one of my favorite creatures. 
not even joking uh here's something that you can do if you are holding down space you can like aim a jump but you could also let go of space and immediately press c and actually swing your tail in midair and it's pretty cool i mean like i've used that on flyers like in a pvp server that we had before like i've actually used that move and it's really effective it actually like <laughs> i don't know the flyers like around a reaper kind of get a little bit cocky but then they realize that you can use your tail spit thingy to actually make them fall out of the sky but you could also just do this oh i screwed up there hang on bam oh i didn't do it properly well you know what i mean like you could use that and it's really effective uh we broke the tree that we were on because we're too fat all right let's hit that guy and then beat him up a little <laughs> oh man so yeah here's the stats that we have fully imprinted uh, obviously on this uh, server and this playthrough we have like regular imprint stat scale so like this is like legitimate stats that you'll see uh, obviously the rest of these need to be updated so if I pump that everything gets updated sweet 410 on the melee is not bad we're gonna probably pump a couple levels into health and then the rest into melee because it's really what you want on these things a lot of a lot of melee obviously is great but a lot of health is good too because even though they take reduced damage uh obviously when they're not in the charge zone or whatever they take reduced damage but they still can take a good amount of damage and if you have it with like a good amount of health you can probably dish out way more damage over a longer period especially in the arena like reapers of mine have died in the arena so definitely would recommend a good amount of health on these things um let's see though we got got freaking stegos galore over here hello <laughs> and you're dead sweet so let me see how many more levels do i have to pump in probably like three or four i'd say uh before we get to 30k there we got an explore note right here let's grab that if we can i don't know if it will work might if i crouch over it when i check and do by just holding down space there we go sweet it worked nice all right let's get rid of that so now we have extra xp bonus let's see oh by the way uh the controls in this thing left click right clicks the uh tail attack thingy with the spitballs c is this and then control does this so that's awesome i love the roar in these things if you were actually riding on a queen i think they took it out but originally when uh you could like force tame a queen um and you could actually impregnate people with it i believe because you could actually do the attack that impregnates which is kind of crazy but uh, they took that out, which sucks. Let's see. We can probably fight some Karkinos or something down here. Maybe some Spinos too, because we got that XP bonus. Yeah, I see a Spino over there. So funny thing about the Reaper is that it actually cannot go below the surface of the water, which is strange. It kind of just floats on the water. Um, so I don't know why that is, but I mean, they probably would be kind of terrifying uh, to people who maybe had like a water base or something. <laughs> you could just come through the water with one of these things. All right, bam, you're dead. Let's kill absolutely everything in here. Got a bunch of piranha and fish and everything. All right. Is that an office? Oh yeah, it is. All right, we got a Spino. No, 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 no. You'll come back here. <laughs> you don't get to just go away. All right, we got him. Let's see. Uh, we got another spine over there, which is good. Wow, right, look at that Stego. Freaking killed a uh, Zarko. I think at least it was level 10. I don't think it would have killed that. I'm not sure. Either way, the Zarko was dead. Something killed it. All right. And tail attack. Amazing. And I love these things. All right, I'm actually going to hit this thing with a spitball so it can't get away. And you're dead. All right, we gotta check our levels now. Sweet. All right, let's get that up to 30k. Oh wow, it's way more into it than I thought I would have to go. All right, pump some into melee. We do 413 now. Not bad, not bad at all. Oh, I love these things. They are so awesome. Um, one thing I would recommend that you never do with a Reaper is bring it up to the surface of this map they are awful up there they do not survive up there um not at all um 
I've brought some up there and almost lost them. So definitely don't do that. But they're perfect for anything where you don't have to have charge on. Um, like, obviously, if you're fighting Reapers up there, the only way to damage them a lot is to turn on your charge. And that's not a great idea because your guy gets hurt more as well. Great. Come here. Come on. Don't leave me. Stop trying to leave me. All right. Let's kill the stupid Spino. Got him. All right. And you're dead. And you. Sweet. So yeah, I'm going to probably continuously level this thing. And uh, I think that's probably going to be it for today, guys. We got ourselves a Reaper. It's kind of amazing. If I want to, I could probably go get more. I don't know if I will, but we'll see. Um, I could probably try and find another high level and then get like a different color and a different set of stats. That could work. But actually, you know what? I've just realized I'm dumb. If you're getting Reapers from the same... Uh, if you're getting Reaper Kings from the same Reaper Queen, they can actually have varied stats, uh, even though it's the exact same Queen. So that was dumb of me. Um, I could actually go down there and get an even better one from it. So maybe we'll do that. The colors won't be different, though, from what I know. Colors are the same every single time, but the stats can be different. So, yeah, we might go down there and get another one. But that's it for today, guys. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. What should we call our Reaper? Oh, man, that's terrifying. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. And speaking of, we've got five more on here. Whew, we're getting close. We're getting very, very close.